Sitting here with Kevin Doyle, uh, quarterback for the Tyrol Raiders here in Innsbruck, Austria. That's where we're at right now. Um, so, we like to start every interview with, how did you get out here? What's your recruitment story? Started in Philly, moved to D.C. to play high school, went to University of Arizona, and then how did you get out here? So, I got out here because... Uh Long story short, COVID really kind of screwed things up. Mm -hmm. um, I graduated from Arizona with three years left mm -hmm. of uh, eligibility and in three years. And uh, I wanted to grad transfer and get, go somewhere, get a master's kind of thing. Mm -hmm. But uh, with the COVID, all the seniors came back and the freshmen came in. So all the rosters expanded. There was no room. And uh, I was like, eh, I'd rather not go be mad playing at a university that I don't like or don't want to be at. And so that's when I learned about Europe. Um, my first offer actually I got was, um, well, first offer, first offer I thought I got was in October um, from a team in Zaragoza, Spain. Mm -hmm. uh, got my start there. But actually, fast forward a couple of months, I checked my Facebook, because I never checked my Facebook. Right. And uh, no, <laughs> <laughs> turns out that I actually got an offer from a team um, back in, what was it, December? Or no, I'm sorry, September. So it would have been before the Zaragoza's offer. And it was in the Ukraine. Oh, wow. So I would have been there in the, uh, yeah, I would have been there during the invasion. So right. luckily I didn't see it. Luckily I didn't go. Right. And so ended up in Spain and uh, won MVP there. And then went to Germany, then went back to Spain. Mm -hmm. And now here we are in Austria. That's a, that's a wild ride. Yeah, it's, it's a good time, honestly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so you went to University of Arizona. What was that like when you were there? Awesome. You like? It yeah, it was, like yeah. an awesome time. It was exactly what it was. Yeah, it was exactly what it was. <laughs> That's exactly what I was thinking it was going to be. It was. It was a lot of fun. I mean, uh, the football could have been better, right. but I mean, that's almost everywhere mm -hmm. and then I can't complain a single thing about anything else. <laughs> the experience was, was yeah. good, right? Yeah, I, I, it was fun. Yeah. Um, so you touched down, you first went to Spain, mm -hmm. you said, what was your feelings getting off that plane and starting practice and everything? How are you feeling? I mean, I, so I was in Zaragoza, Spain, which right. is the fourth largest city in Spain behind like Madrid, Barcelona, and Valencia. Right. And uh, what I didn't know is that there was like no major import or export there, meaning that they just didn't have to speak English. Oh. And I did not take Spanish in grade school. Right. So I took like a semester of Mandarin. <laughs> That's not going to help you much. It did not do much for me there. And then I actually got like a minor in like sign language from college. Okay. So like 0 for 2. So <laughs> so I, I had to learn Spanish quickly. And uh, it was cool. It was just literally being fully indoctrinated and, uh, you know, calling plays with guys. And I actually was also the play caller that season too. Really? So I was like Jackie Moon a little bit, like <laughs> yeah, player you're, coach. You're right? semi-pro Jackie Moon. I was like play calling, quarterback coach, quarterback OC, like everything. And so you're saying love me sexy. Yes, every every time. E L E. Everybody love everybody. Exactly. Um, so another question: How like can you compare the players over here in these leagues compared to college football? I'm sure there might be a gap there. Like what, of, yeah, I mean, of course, there's a gap and all, but just like in every sport, there's good players yeah. and then there's bad players. Right. You know, so it's just. Our job to have more good players, honestly. So I mean, comparatively, um, you know, if you were to grab a roster full of Americans, like I, you would do well, right? But you know, outside of that, there's athletes everywhere in the world. That's what I've learned, and uh, you know, I've met a lot of guys that are really talented and really good, and uh, just born on the wrong continent, kind of thing. You know, so the love of football is uh, there. It's just they either a learned about it too old, or b they're just in Europe kind of thing, and it's yeah. tough, you know, like they're talented, but, and some guys do still, regardless, uh, make it to the States and go to college there and do all that, but, uh, yeah, I mean, people, like, they should pay more attention to Europe, honestly. That's <laughs> what I'm trying to do out here, exactly. Here. Exactly. Cool. So, I'm going to take a little left turn here, uh, get into, like, some rapid-fire questions and stuff. What is your uh, favorite touchdown celebration, if you were to run one in? Uh, yeah. Old school, the dab. You do the dab still. I, it's, I do not. I do oh, not. Okay. It's just my favorite. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Which one do you do? Do you have one? Um, 
I'll just talk shit. <laughs> okay, we like that. We like that. Talk shit to the crowd. Is there a hardest crowd to play in front of in Europe if you had to pick one? Um, honestly, it's it depends upon just like the team and the culture and honestly the culture of the country too. Like Spain, like yes, we had less people, but they were loud and rowdy and excited um you know in germany you go there's a lot of people yeah. you know so that's fun i mean this past week in hamburg was a cool thing i haven't played in front of them uh you know dusseldorf has a lot of people that's cool so i don't know probably between dusseldorf and i guess now hamburg yeah yeah those are the german fans get after it they're crazy they, they absolutely do them and all their nfl jerseys yeah. <laughs> yeah they got every team they got the shirts with every team on it that's awesome, <laughs> that's awesome. Um, so you're from Philly originally. Do you have a favorite cheesesteak place? Uh, De Los Andres. <sighs> I, I, I had a feeling you were going to say that one. <laughs> For me, they're a little dry. They're a little dry on, I like a cheese sauce. Amarosa rolls? The Amarosa rolls? They're, the Amarosa rolls are good, but they're a little, they're on the dry side. That's okay. That's okay. We're not, I'm not a cheese whiz guy though. Oh, okay. I'm a provolone. That's, that's, oh, see, provolone. There's the, there's the difference. There, there's that is a classy choice. That is the difference. Um, do you have a prediction on the Eagles record this year? They shouldn't lose a, another game. Yeah, that that's the appropriate answer from anyone from Philly. It's that's just, the expectation. Yeah, that's exactly. What, what do you mean? You want to lose? Yeah, no. <laughs> no losses this year. Can you give us any phrases in German? I know you just learned Spanish when you came out here. What have you learned in German so far? I've learned words, honestly, just like henchen, chicken. Like I'm ordering a chicken sandwich, just like yeah, henchen. Because I need it too. I need yeah. some. Lessons. Yeah, yeah. Henchen is chicken. <laughs> Ausgang is exit. And then the other phrases I say, I'm, I definitely can't say uh <laughs> sober <laughs> okay yeah that's the thing even with the germans i think they speak better english when they start drinking everyone speaks a better language different when they start that's drinking true. that's just, just like, don't give a shit anymore. it's just like okay i'm now fluent <laughs> in your mind exactly um do you have a favorite food here in austria uh or do you keep it just schnitzel you do like it i mean it's a big it's a big chicken nugget <laughs> it's a big, it's a big ass chicken nugget, but uh, you know it's good. They actually put, which I thought was crazy, they put um, cranberry j sauce on it. Yeah, we had one last night. Yeah, it was yeah. kind of strange. Cranberry sauce is weird. <laughs> it was, it was an odd combo. But I was like, hey, if the locals are doing it, I gotta try it. And so, you know, respecting the culture of it. Favorite beer in Austria? Uh, I don't think it's an Austrian beer, but it would. I'm not even honestly a beer guy, but it would have to be Kosh. I think it's from Cologne. Yeah, yeah. yeah so I love that beer a lot. Okay. Fair enough. Um, well, that's pretty much all we have. Quick interview. We we'll get you on the road. We appreciate you coming out. Hey man, I appreciate you. Go <laughs> Good birds. Luck with the rehab. Go birds. And that's it. Signing off from Innsbruck here. I can't wait to trick, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be so sweet.